Hello everyone, uh, thank you for taking time and joining the webinar today. I hope my voice is audible and the display is clear. Uh, let me introduce myself first. My name is Mauli. I'm a product marketer for Zoho Sign and I'm your presenter for today's session. Before I start the session, with regards to questions, please feel free to raise as many questions as possible using the chat option. Uh, we will answer them towards the end of the session. Also, when it comes to the recording, a copy of the recording can be shared with you on request. So feel free to drop your email ID using the chat option. We will send the copy of the webinar and also the slide deck uh, email to our inbox as soon as we can. This webinar is exclusively designed to educate our customers on how to integrate Zoho Sign with G Suite and Office 365. So in today's webinar, we'll see uh, a simple introduction of Zoho Sign, and then we will see the various integration options available in Zoho Sign. Uh, then we will see uh, step by step instructions on how to integrate Zoho Sign with G Suite, and uh, we will see the step by step integration uh, steps to integrate Zoho Sign with Office 365. I have a surprise for you guys here in this section, and uh, finally, we will uh, have an interactive QA session. So, that being said, uh, let's get started. The traditional method of signing business documents with papers and pen is highly cumbersome. It lacks collaboration, uh, creates an endless waiting period, and it also increases the chances of losing a deal. Finally, it's difficult to manage the signed physical documents in the long run. So with Zoho Sign, you can carry out the entire signing process from anywhere, uh, seamlessly close deals in minutes, manage the signed documents efficiently. So if you are someone who cares about security, uh, this piece of information is for you. Uh, Zoho Sign offers bank level security. All your data is protected with uh, AES-256 encryption while at rest and SSL encryption while in transit. It also offers multi-factor authentication, uh, access codes, and comprehensive audit trials, allowing you to send and sign documents with confidence. So uh, documents signed with Zoho Sign also meet the requirements of the eSign Act in the United States and the EIDAS in the European Union, uh, besides other international laws. Uh, Zoho Sign also offers native mobile app for iOS and Android. Uh, uh, recently, we have also uh, launched our APIs uh, for public usage, uh, and we also have SDKs for custom integration. Zoho Sign provides all these features at a very affordable price. You can make use of the premium plan, or you can start with the standard edition uh, that uh, starts only at $10 per user per month when paid annually. So uh, now let's take a quick look. Uh, are the important features available in Zoho Sign. Once you sign up for the product, uh, you finally land on this link, document signing page. From here, you can sign documents yourself or send documents to others for signatures. You can add documents from your computer or import documents from your cloud storage services like Dropbox, Box, OneDrive, Google Drive, and etc. It's a simple and powerful user interface. Once you have uploaded the document, you can add the recipients. While adding recipients, you can set the signing flow, the order in which the recipient should receive the document. I'm not sure how many of you uh, noticed this tiny cool new feature, uh, which we call hybrid signing as of now. Uh, suppose, for example, if you have configured uh, the signing order, you can also uh, make two or more recipients to receive the documents at once. Uh, say, for example, in this instance, uh, John will receive the document first, Jane and uh, the another John will receive the document second together, and Laura will receive the document third. Cool, right? I'm not sure how many of you have uh, used this feature before. Just go and try it today. The next feature that many of our customers love is the branding option that we provide in Zoho Sign. Uh, you can incorporate your brand image across your documents with customized logos and emails. This uh, particular feature uh, is used by many of our customers. We also believe uh, you will definitely make use of this feature. So once you uh, add a document, add the fields, and send it and sending it out for signature, uh, the next thing is you would like to know the uh, status of the document. You can track every step of the document signing process with a comprehensive audit trials. Uh, you can also uh, from the screen you can also see, uh, see that the document is mailed and viewed, but it is yet to be signed. You can also uh, configure to receive instant alerts and notification on the status of each document. So uh, this is another uh, new cool feature 
called as sign forms. So gone are the days for you uh, where you need to import a document, add fields, and send it out for signature manually. Uh, say for example, if your company wants to get uh, your new social media policy to be signed by everyone, they can just create a sign form and embed its URL uh, to your company email, or you, they can just drop this uh, URL in your team chat so that every can everyone can just fill in the name and email and start signing the document. So. Uh, if you are someone, uh, if you are a company um, uh, with a strong development force, uh, you can make use of our APIs with which you can programmatically access Zoho Science features using our REST APIs. Uh, all the features available in the web interface is also available uh, in our uh, APIs that we offer. So you can just go to uh, www.zoho.com slash sign slash API uh, to know more about how our APIs work. So Zoho Sign offers tighter integration with popular Zoho apps and third-party apps. Uh, we offer uh, integration with productivity suites like G Suite and Office 365. We also offer integration with our own Zoho apps uh, with our fla uh, flagship CRM product Zoho CRM with our HRM uh, suite like Zoho People and Zoho Recruit. We also offer integration with uh, Forms, Flow, Writer, and wherever there is a possibility of uh, document signing within the Zoho ecosystem. Apart from this, we also offer integration with document uh, on uh, cloud uh, storage services like Dropbox, Box, OneDrive, and Google Drive uh, uh, to help you uh, easily manage your signed copies and also to import and export the signed copies from Zoho Sign. So uh, now let's see how to integrate uh, Zoho Sign with G Suite. The first step is uh, the integrating Zoho Sign with G Suite uh, involves two steps. The first step is integrating uh, G Suite uh, with Zoho Sign account, and the second step is like inviting users from G Suite to join your Zoho Sign account. Uh, you need to have a valid G Suite subscription, and you also need to have a Zoho Sign account with admin privilege to complete this integration. So first, you need to navigate to Zoho Sign homepage, uh, www.zoho.com/sign. You need to click the login button. And then you need to click the sign in with Google or other IDPs. And then you need to click the uh, Google option and enter your G Suite admin credentials. You need to complete the account setup process. And parallelly, you need to navigate to Google admin console. And you need to click the apps tab. Again, you need to click the marketplace apps. Here, you need to click the uh, plus icon on the top right corner. And you need to search for Zoho sign. And, uh, that's it. Uh, if you just click the launch the application and complete the uh, setup, uh, you are all set to complete the integration of uh, G Suite with Zoho Sign. Once you have completed uh, the above mentioned steps, you can uh, navigate to Zoho Sign uh, settings, uh, admin, and users. In the users page, you can click the invite Google users and you can see the list of users from your G Suite directory. You can import the required users into Zoho Sign and click the invite button and they can join your Zoho sign account in a few steps. So apart from this, uh, if, you are, if your company is using Google Drive to manage documents, uh, you can right click on any document and click the open with option and select Zoho sign and send the document for signing. It is very simple as that. These are all the advantages of G Suite integration with Zoho sign. You can import users from G Suite directly uh, once integrated, your users can log into Zoho Sign with G Suite credentials, uh, which is nothing but a uh, single sign on. Uh, your users can directly open documents stored in Google Drive with Zoho Sign. Then uh, uh, they can also import and export documents to Google Drive. Uh, all of these uh, will help your company to increase uh, your productivity. So now let's see how to integrate Zoho Sign with Office 365. Uh, as usual, you need to go to Zoho Science homepage and click the login button. Then uh, you need to click the sign in with Google or other IDPs and then click the Office 365 and enter your Office 365 admin credentials and complete the account setup process. So unlike uh, G Suite, uh, Office 365 integration is very much simple. Uh, you need to just come to Zoho Sign homepage and enter your and log in via Office 365 enter your Office 365 credentials, that's it. Uh, you have integrated your Office 365 account with Zoho Sign. Uh, once it is done, uh, you can, uh, as usual, navigate to settings and users. And from there, you can uh, invite all the users available in your Office 365.
so by directly to zogo sign and hit the invite button they can join your invitation and become part of your zogo sign account in a few steps so uh, same like uh, g suite you can also import and export documents to onedrive advantages of office 365 uh, integration are importing you can import users from the office 365 directory uh, users can log in to Zogo Sign with Office 365 credentials, which is a single sign on again. Uh, you can import and export documents to OneDrive. All of these increases the productivity of your company. So uh, initially I told uh, I have a surprise for you guys and this is it. Uh, recently we have launched the Zogo Sign integration with Microsoft Teams. If you are someone who is already using Office 365, you will also find this integration of Zogo Sign with Microsoft Teams really useful. So you just need to log into your Microsoft Teams account. From there, you need to click the store button on the left navigation panel. And search for Zogo Sign and click Zogo Sign. Uh, here you have an option to uh, see if you want to uh, sign in with Zogo or if you want to sign in with Office 365 credential. So if you already have a Zogo account, you can make yourself sign in with Zogo. So if you are someone who is new uh, and you want to sign in with the office 365 credentials you can very well go with the second option so that's it your account will be set up and you can access zogo sign interface right within the of uh, microsoft teams tab so, so you can carry out all the features available in the zogo sign here inside uh, right inside the microsoft teams app itself so uh, if you want to add a zogo sign tab to your microsoft team you can follow the below steps so just click Teams in the left navigation panel and open the channel to which you want to add Zoho Sign tab. So here uh, you need to click uh, select Zoho Sign and uh, then you need to click the save button. That's it, you are done. Uh, the Zoho Sign tab will be added to your Microsoft Teams, to your respective Microsoft Teams tab. So you can carry out all the, the documents and process uh, right from this tab itself. So advantages of uh, Zogo Sign and uh, Microsoft uh, Teams integration are uh, your users can log into Zogo Sign with either Zogo credentials or Office 365 credentials. So and then they can also enjoy all the Zogo Sign features right uh, within the Microsoft Teams. Again, this is a productivity uh, boosting factor for your company. So uh, if you want to uh, integrate Zogo Sign with G Suite or Office 365 or Microsoft Teams. We have step-by-step -step, uh, instruction and we have a dedicated help section for integrations. Uh, you can just go ahead and uh, check these resources and uh, you can successfully integrate Zogo Sign with your everyday app, be it G Suite or Office 365 or Microsoft Teams. So it's time for questions. So guys, if you have any questions regarding this integration, uh, you are feel free to raise as many questions as possible now. We have ample time, uh, so I will try to answer all your questions. So Gabriel is telling all is clear. Thank you. Thanks, Gabriel. Thanks for the confirmation. So anyone, uh, we have Saroj Kumar in the session. Anyone else? Uh, so Kritika uh, is raising her hands. So uh, Kritika, can you make use of the chat option? and uh, ask your questions. Saroj is also raising his hand. Uh, guys, please use the chat option to raise your questions. I will use the chat option and I will try, try to answer all your questions. So only is asking like on Microsoft uh, 365, can all staff access sign? Uh, only can you please elaborate your question? So the integration will work for uh, anyone whom you have imported from your Office 365 directly. So all the imported users can uh, access Zogo sign. So hope that answers your question. So Frank Coyce, uh, he's asking like, uh, would you please show the step for Office 365 again? Sure, uh, I will take you through the Office 365 again. Once again, I will show the Office 365. So here it starts. Uh, you just need to go to Zogo signs homepage and click the login button. And from there, you need to click the sign in with Google. Google or other IDPs option and click the Office 365 and then you need to enter your Office 365 credentials and complete the account setup process and that's it uh, you have integrated your Office 365 with Zogo sign so you can go to the uh, settings admin and users page from where you can see the uh, option like add Office 365 users 
uh, it will fetch the list of users uh, from your office 365 directory uh, you can select the uh, required users and you can hit the invite button and uh, they can join your uh, zoho sign account and they can start signing documents for your company so hope that answers your questions sure only we will uh, share the presentation with you jesus is asking this question can i extract the information of a client who has signed a document via zoho sign to create a contract in my crm so uh, jesus and uh, this feature is very much available and we will send you a comprehensive uh, answer uh, along with the step by step instruction and uh, helpful documents to you via email so uh, franco is saying like i use zoho one and the options you showed does not appear on my sign on screen so uh, can you be uh, can you point out uh, which options are not available on your sign screen so it would help us to know and answer your question better make use of the chat option so uh, kaushal is asking like as you said zoho sign is fulfilling all digital signature standard do you have any document in this regard yes we do have our uh, legal legality guide uh, you can just go to zoho sign resources section from there you can uh, just click and see the legality guide uh, we have uh, consolidated uh, the legal standards for around 70 countries as of now uh, you can make use of that material as a reference and you can also share it with anyone in your team so uh, francois you will be able to see the integration options on your screen only when you uh, log in uh, via google or you log in with your office 365 credentials so uh, if you are someone uh, who is logging into zogo one with your zogo credentials obviously you cannot see all these options on your screen so uh, any any further questions uh, we still have time uh, feel free to raise as many questions as possible so uh, kausha is asking another question can we get zogo sign along with zogo one package uh, absolutely uh, all zogo uh, products are uh, bundled along with zogo one uh, you get the zogo sign enterprise edition uh, you can very well uh, access zogo sign uh, with your zogo one license kutbau menon uh, i see you are raising your hand uh, please make use of the uh, chat option to raise your questions. So same to Saroj. Uh, guys, please make use of the chat option. Uh, it is better uh, to answer your question that way. Uh, so Kritika, uh, you are asking this question. While integrating with Zoho CRM, uh, can details be fetched from a subform? So uh, can you please elaborate your requirements so that uh, I will also check with our development team and uh, send you an email uh, with a detailed response so uh, kaushal uh, uh, you are saying like uh, i have zoho one yearly package license but still after login zoho sign it is asking you to upgrade so uh, can you please drop in your email id i can check with our accounts team and see the uh, uh, licensing options that you have subscribed to uh, so by in by that way i would be able to see whether you have access to zoho one or not Udbao Menon, oh, okay, cool. Uh, we will definitely send you the slides uh, in my tool. So uh, Kritika, uh, this is a confirmation that I have received your question. Uh, I will definitely check this question with my develop, uh, development team and I will send you an email shortly after this webinar. So uh, if you have any feedback for us, like uh, what are all the areas that we should cover in our upcoming webinars, uh, you can always uh, feel free to drop an email to support at zohosign.com. Uh, we will take your feedback and, uh, and we will try to uh, cover those areas of your interest uh, in the coming months. So I'm closing this uh, session, guys. So uh, if you have uh, any questions uh, about this integration, so, uh, like Zoho Sign integration with G Suite or Office 365 or Microsoft Teams, uh, you can always reach out to us uh, via support at uh, zohosign.com. So thank you. Thanks for your time. Uh, we will meet you in another webinar. Thank you.